The town takes its name from the Norman River, which was named in honour of William Henry Norman of the Victorian Naval Forces, who in 1861 commanded the sloop HMCS Victoria that was sent to this area in search of the explorers Burke and Wills. to Normanton now, just come out of Cloncurry. We're in the Gulf Country and we're heading uh, north again. Some of the features that we'll see on the road, one of them is called the Bang Bang Jump Up. Strange name, but that's what it's called. What I'll do as we're driving along, I'll film some of the major features, and plus the general landscape as we're going along and we can um, get a rough idea of what the Gulf Country looks like from the main road. Most of the, the tracks off the, this particular country are pretty rough and uh, four-wheel drive type areas, so this little baby can't head in those directions. Anyway, we'll travel along the road and see where we're going. It's about 370 kilometres to Normanton. Once we've done that, we'll just have a look around Normanton. One day Trevor has little to concern himself of travelling in this particular area during the dry season. It's a different situation when it comes to driving in this area during the wet. A lot of the roads in this particular area Beef stock route along this road too. It was through country like this that Burke and Wills were making their final push to the northern part of Australia. in this area is like a vast graveyard. They're facing a the north-south direction to take advantage of the morning and afternoon suns to keep an even temperature on the actual ant hill. Each mound is made up of the soil from around the area interwoven with pieces of grass which have all combined to make the mound as you see it here. The town takes its name from the Norman River, which was named in honour of William Henry Norman of the Victoria Naval Forces, who in 1861 commanded the sloop HMCS Victoria that was sent to this area in search of the explorers Burke and Wills. In 1867, another expedition was dispatched to explore the Norman and Bainu rivers this led to the discovery of land suitable for a new town, which became known as Norman, and was officially gazetted on the 8th of August, 1868. We're at the final camp of Burke and Will's expedition from Melbourne to the Gulf of Carpentaria.
I found the Burke and Wills camp 119. It was from here they tried to reach the ocean. Finding the ground in such a state from the heavy falls of rain, that camels could scarcely be got along, it was decided to leave them at camp 119 and for Mr. Burke and I to proceed towards the sea on foot. Burke and Wills returned to Camp 119 on the afternoon of the 12th of February 1861 and told King and Grey because of the marshes and mangroves they were unable to get a glimpse of the sea. Burke also mentioned that they saw numerous pelicans and other seabirds during their absence from camp. Burke reassured his party that the river was tidal, which proved they were the first white men to successfully travel across the inland expanse of Australia. This campsite is only 36 kilometres from the Gulf of Carpentaria. Rumba, 69 kilometres north of Normanton. It's at the mouth of the Norman River and it's the home of the Southern Gulf corn trawlers. I'm going to go through to the town right now, have a look, look at what's going on, have a look at the prawning area, and have a look at some of the sites around the actual town itself. This settlement was previously known as Norman Mouth and also as Kimberley. The name Karumba was officially used for the township in the 1880s and derived its name from the indigenous landholders of this area before white colonisation. Being close to the Gulf of Carpentaria, it's not surprising the town's economy has revolved largely around fishing with the major revenue coming from the prawn industry, which expanded in the 1960s. Fishing in this area is legendary. The people come as far as Mount Isa on long weekends to fish in this area. Only a few kilometres short of Gulf of Carpentaria and the mouth of the Norman River. In 1841, John Stokes and the Beagle charted the Gulf of Carpentaria coastline naming the Albert and Flinders rivers. While on the voyage, he explored a short distance inland and called the world grass landscape, the Plains of Promise. Well, I've made it to the Gulf of Carpentaria. Something that Burke and Wills wasn't able to achieve. Just go down to the water now. These little fish are called mud skippers. Sixty-nine kilometres north of Normanton is Kurumba. It's at the mouth of the Norman River and it's the home of the south Kurumba, 69 kilometres north of Normanton. It's in the mouth of the Norman River and it's the home of the Rumba, 69 kilometres north of Normanton. It's in the... Get it right in a minute. 